Hello, hello, and welcome back. I hope you're ready to clean today because I have 29 minutes of cleaning motivation for you. This day was the day that we all dream of as moms. My kids were out of the house and I had the entire day to myself to deep clean every single room. So that is what we're doing. I had so much footage that I actually had to split this up into two videos. So today you're seeing me clean all the main living areas of my home and next week will be bedrooms and bathroom. There's cleaning, there's decluttering, a little organizing, so I hope if you need some motivation today that this helps you out. We're starting off in my kitchen, of course, getting the dishes done. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy cleaning, decluttering, and organizing motivation and ideas. I post a new video every single week and I also have an Instagram if you're interested in following more of my day-to-day -day life. So like I said, my kids were actually out of the house when I was filming on this day, which was amazing. I love my kids so much, but I desperately needed a day to myself to get things done. I haven't had a day to myself since before Sutton was born. So this was great. I needed it and my house really, really needed it. I tend to clean in kind of like fight or flight mode all the time. I'm just always trying to get as much done as I can in a short period of time. And so when you're doing that, you tend to skip a lot because you just are short on time and you're just trying to get things done. But I didn't have to skip anything on this day. So this is a true whole house reset. It was awesome. I got to go to bed with a clean house, which hardly ever happens. But anyway, I am cleaning my sink in this clip. This is one of my favorite things to do when I'm cleaning and I've been out of my favorite sink cleaner for a while, but I finally had it back in stock. So I was using it on this day and it was awesome. It smells so good and works really well. I don't keep a dish drying rack out on my counter because I just don't like the clutter, but also because I prefer to just quickly dry them off myself using a towel. So that's what I'm doing just to get them off of the counter. So I went to Target this morning by myself because I was alone for once, which never ever happens. And I didn't get very much, but I just wanted to walk around in peace, but I grabbed some new disinfecting wipes because I had run out of those. Sutton really likes these Happy Baby Creamies and he is the, quite possibly, the pickiest toddler in the world. So I got him some of these because these are something that I know he will actually eat and snack on. And then I also grabbed him this pipette, it's not focusing, um, baby shampoo and wash. I've never tried this before, but I, just felt like trying it so I grabbed that for him and then I got him some diapers these are the best diapers in the world they look kind of girly honestly they say they're unisex but the patterns do kind of look a little bit girly but they are so soft they're kind of like the coterie diapers I actually like these better I've tried the coterie as well and these are my all-time favorite so these actually are not as expensive as you would think either. They say luxury, but when you break down the price, they're really, really a good deal for what they are. So highly recommend the Millie Moon diapers. If you have a little baby, they're just so soft and absorbent and we love them. I also grabbed myself these socks. I thought they were so cute and we are actually going to Disney in September of 2024. So a little bit ahead of myself here, but I'm just so excited. So I got these socks. I had a bunch of recycling. You can see that there on my island that needed to be taken out and thrown into my recycling bin. So we're gonna take care of that now. I wanted to show you guys while I'm doing it, but I use this app all the time. It's called Fetch Rewards and this is not sponsored by them. I just figured I'd mention it. This is the best app in my opinion for scanning receipts. You can scan any receipt and you will earn points and you can also play a game every day to earn extra points. I think you can even hook up like your Amazon account 
to them as well so you can get points for things you buy on amazon but anyway i have been using this for years literally years so these are all the receipts that i have scanned um and it's just a really really good app so i figured i would share it with you guys and i'll have the link down below Now that my island is all cleared off, we're of course going to spray it down. Today I'm using the all-purpose spray that you can get from Target actually. It's part of like the Grove Collaborative line. You can order it on their website as well, but I picked mine up at Target and that's what I have been using lately and I really like the scent. I get questions about these bar stools actually quite frequently and these came from Target and they look kind of like a high-end chair and they were pretty affordable so i will link those down below another thing that people ask me about sometimes are the floating shelves you can see in this clip here those also came from target we buy a lot of decor from target so if you're interested in those those will also be linked I would love for you guys to leave me a comment down below letting me know first of all where you are watching from I always find it so interesting to see where all of my viewers have come from it's crazy how far my videos can reach but also I would love to know how your summer weather has been we have had the rainiest summer that I can remember we get like two days of sunshine and then we get like a week or two straight of rain it's been honestly awful. It's been terrible weather. So I would love to know how you guys are making out this summer. This is my Jello hand soap. I've talked about this a couple of times. These are just little pods you stick in there, you fill it up with water, they dissolve and it turns into a foaming hand soap. And this is seriously the best smelling hand soap ever. I have the lavender one and then I have a blue one, but I forget the name of that scent, but they sent those to me a while ago and they are seriously amazing. Probably my favorite hand soap ever, which is kind of a weird thing to say you have a favorite of, but I do and I really, really enjoy those. So I wanted to get that refilled. And now we are going through all the dreaded paperwork that was sitting on my counter since Carson's last day of school. This is a bunch of end of the year projects and just papers that were saved up through the year that came home with him on the last day. So I had to sort through all of this and figure out what we needed to keep and what we could say goodbye to. You guys know this is a constant battle for us in our house. We always have so much paper clutter and it doesn't matter how hard I try, it always piles up. But now that Carson is out of school, I've definitely noticed it's been much easier to stay on top of. So up until September, I think we'll be paper clutter free. Now, just because I can, I'm going to wipe down every single square inch of the counters and then I'm also going to clean off the outside of the appliances. I noticed that the cabinets that were above the microwave were feeling a little bit greasy. I don't really know how that happens, but I just wanted to wipe those down because again, they were feeling kind of greasy. And then when I opened up the microwave, I noticed that the glass dish was so dirty. So I wanted to take that out and get that cleaned as well. I'm laying down at the Like I said earlier, I'm always cleaning in like fight or flight mode, just trying to get as much done as quickly as I possibly can. And so for that reason, I feel like I have to cut corners sometimes. And this glass microwave dish is definitely an example of that. This is something that I don't do as often as I should. Seem to move this thing. 
Now, like I said, we're going to wipe down the outside of the appliances. My appliances are pretty easy to clean and keep clean because they are pretty much fingerprint proof. And if they do get messy, I can use really any cleaner and I don't have an issue with streaks or anything like that. But in the past, I've had some pretty rough stainless steel that's been hard to clean. And I found that the E-Cloth stainless steel cloths are the absolute best at getting those clean and streak free. So if that is something that you struggle with and you feel like you've tried all of the stainless steel cleaners and nothing is doing that good of a job, then I will have those linked down below my description box for you. I filmed a very quick grocery haul from Whole Foods actually the day after I filmed this video and I figured I would insert it at the end of like the kitchen cleaning portion. So if you're interested in that, that's going to be coming up next, but I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you would like to skip it. It's not very long, but I just enjoy seeing those. So if you like them, then that is why I left it in there for you. I just walked in from Whole Foods and I figured I would show you guys what I got from Whole Foods today. Um, just for some context, this was $76 worth of groceries, which is just madness. I really don't shop at Whole Foods very often because they're so expensive, but everything is expensive right now. Um, but anyway, that, that was just what was convenient for me this morning was to stop at Whole Foods. So, so the reason I went to Whole Foods was for some whole milk for Sutton because he ran out. So I grabbed that and then I also wanted to get myself some fruits so I can have some more fruit in my diet. I definitely don't eat enough fruit um, and we were running low. So I just picked up some grapes, strawberries, and some raspberries. And then I also grabbed a couple of cucumbers and then some light ranch. I've never tried the Whole Foods brand of ranch before. So I guess we'll see if it's good or not, but I grabbed that to have with my cucumbers. I love ranch with cucumbers. And then this is literally the best like store-bought pasta salad I've ever had. It's the smoked mozzarella pasta salad from like the Whole Foods deli counter and it's amazing. So good. So I got that for us to have with our dinner tonight. And then well, just my husband and I will eat this. The kids will not. <laughs> um, this is roasted broccoli with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and it just steams in the bag. That's my favorite. <laughs> and then some baby potato blend. I thought this sounded good. It's whole baby potatoes, green beans, and grilled carrots. I just feel like that's kind of like an easy and good side for us with our dinners. These right here are the best English muffins in the world. I actually don't like English muffins, but these are amazing. The first time I tried these was in my Hungry Root box, and then I figured out that they sell these at Whole Foods. So I picked them up there now, and I'm gonna have one of these this morning. And then this is just a dark chocolate bar, 70% um, cacao, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> I don't know. And then of course, I had to grab some Ben and Jerry's. The Tonight Dough is really good. And then Carson this morning asked me for chocolate covered pretzels and I saw these so I picked those up for him And then this is for my husband and I's late night snack. We're gonna have some whoopie pies, but yeah, this is $75 worth of groceries from Whole Foods. This is just wild to me I feel like back in the day like I would say 2020 Carson and I used to go to the grocery store together and I would spend less than $100 and we would have all the food that we needed for like a whole week, like dinners included. This is not even remotely close to enough food for us for an entire week. It's crazy. Okay, so now we are moving on to cleaning out our dining room. I had stuff all over the table as usual. My son likes to put his stuff there and then it just somehow never makes its way back where it belongs, but I'm taking care of that today, making sure that every surface is cleaned off. Now you can see right here, I'm fighting a fly. This is kind of like a saga throughout the video. This fly was in my house for multiple days. I do eventually get it, but you won't see that until next week. So just wanted to point that out right there. But that fly was in our house for like three days. It was driving me crazy. It kept jumping out at me when I was trying to film and I couldn't get it. It was so fast. But anyway, now I am putting away our cat food. I like to take it out of the packaging and put it on the shelf so it's easy to grab when we need it. Pretty much every single time I show myself 
putting the cat food away, I get a comment from at least one person telling me that I should get rid of the cats because their things take up too much space, which their things don't. It's literally like a half a shelf in this one closet, um, but they could take up this entire closet and I still would not get rid of them because they are our babies. They're our fur babies. They're our family. We committed to taking care of them for their entire lives when we adopted them. Animals are a lifetime commitment. So we will not be getting rid of our cats. And if you thought about leaving that comment, just don't because I would never do that. It was so nice to be able to start a task and actually finish it and not have to cut any corners. So I was able to fix up the closet. There was some stuff on the floor in there that didn't belong. I was able to immediately break down the recycling from the cat food. Then I had a couple of other boxes you'll see in a second. Like I had a big box of toilet paper that needed to be put where it belongs. And then I had laundry that needed to be brought up. And it's just, again, it was just so nice to have one day where I could just uninterrupted, get all these things done and fully reset my house. We had fire that we watched as we're putting away the toilet paper right now, I wanted to tell you guys that since I filmed this, I filmed a linen closet organization video and it turned out so good. And that was last week's video. So I'll have that linked in the cards right here if you missed it. But this is what it looked like before. It was a total mess and it ends up turning out so home edit. I'm so proud of it and I hope you guys enjoy that video. But now we are cleaning off the entryway table. We're going to take every single thing off of it, wipe it down. We're also going to clean the mirror. Now I'm going to just move a couple of things back where they belong and then I'm going to wipe down our dining room table. I also wanted to clean all of the chairs at the dining room table. We honestly don't sit here to eat very often, but the chairs do get dusty and because they're black, you can see everything. Plus, as you can see, my cats like to hang out over there, so sometimes there can be fur and stuff on them, so it was just good to wipe these down. This table and the chairs came from a website called Article. They're one of my favorite online furniture stores. I've ordered a ton of furniture from them in the past, but this table, I just think it's so beautiful. And these chairs, I love it so much. I'm very happy with it, but I've heard there is something similar at Ikea. So I don't know if there's any truth to that. I haven't seen it, but if you're looking for something similar on more of a budget, then you could always check Ikea. Now for a project that I really wanted to get done, that was kind of decluttering the toys a little bit and getting them organized. I wanted to take all of the toys out of the toy box so I could vacuum it out. There was just crumbs and fur in there that had somehow accumulated. And I also wanted to, of course, pull out my couch and get it all vacuumed up behind it. Another thing that was really nice was I was able to find all of the pieces to the toys and make sure that they went or were with their proper match or the toy that they go with because I feel like when anyone else cleans up in my house they just don't put things back together the way that they're supposed to be so it was just really nice to make sure everything was exactly back where it belonged. Like I said, this toy box was just full of crumbs and cat fur and stuff, so I wanted to make sure I got this all vacuumed out and cleaned up. And I'm also going to wipe this down.
This is something that I do quite regularly. I want to say at least once a month, I pull the couch out completely and I vacuum underneath it and around it. So it always shocks me how much stuff still accumulates under there, no matter how often I do this. So you guys will see in a second, there was just so much back there. And honestly, I had done this like the day before because we lost our remote control for like the millionth time. So I had already done this to see um, if I could find that remote, which I didn't. And the remote you're seeing right here is not the one that we were looking for. That's like a decoy that we let Sutton play with. But anyway, my point is I had done this like the day before. So how all of this accumulated in one day is totally mind blowing to me. But because it is ant season, I wanted to go ahead and use my Tinco wet dry vac to vacuum and mop behind the couch just to try and deter any ants that might come in. I have been loving my Tinco for a quick cleanup, especially after Sutton eats because he tends to make a big mess. It's just so easy and convenient. These machines were on sale for Prime Day. I want to say the S3 was on sale. So if you're watching this on Prime Day and it is still on sale, I'll have that linked down below so you can check it out and buy one of these at a much lower price. This is another thing that I tend to cut corners on, but it really does make such a big difference when you're able to wipe down the window sills and wipe down the windows. So I wanted to go ahead and do that and also pull the windows out so that I could wipe the inside of them as well. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Now I'm just moving my couch back. I have been considering putting the couch back into like the center of the room where it used to be and then splitting the room up into two and having the play space be behind the couch. We've done that in the past, but since Sutton has been so little, I didn't feel comfortable having him playing in the back where I couldn't see him quite as well. So now that he's getting a little bit bigger, I feel like he might be able to handle that. So I'm thinking about doing that. For now, I'm just putting everything back where it was. But the other fun thing that may be coming up is a living room makeover because we finally, we finally have someone who wants to buy our pellet stove. So assuming that that goes through all right and we get that out of there, we can start building the fireplace I've been talking about and putting in the built-ins. And that's gonna add so much interest. It's gonna make our living room look so much better. And it will also add a ton of storage space. So I'm super excited for that possibility. And hopefully you guys are too. Like I said earlier, I wanted to make sure that all the toys were together where they were supposed to be. So as I was putting things away, I was being very mindful of where everything goes and making sure it was back where it belongs. We have kind of a makeshift toy rotation system going on right now in our living room. And we have shelves that kind of line the entire living room. And for a while I wasn't using them for anything, but I have started to store some of the toys up there. So if you see me stepping on the couch in a couple of these clips, it's because I'm putting things back up on the shelves but it's worked out really well for us. It's hard for me to get up and down the basement stairs with bins and things with the baby to do a proper toy rotation. So while it's not like the most attractive thing ever to have a bunch of toys on the shelf above the couch in the living room, it's just the most convenient and easiest thing for me right now in this phase of life. So I've been liking it and I'm totally fine with having them out. I don't really care if it's an eyesore. We have kids, we have a small house, so we just gotta do what we gotta do. Nothing that can pull us under 
You wanna take the pain away But know that I was born as a fight so my husband did actually just vacuum underneath all the cushions a couple of days ago. We've been looking for the remote for like three or four days. So he did that the other day while he was looking for it. And I'm just going to vacuum like the tops of the cushions. And then I'm also going to spray some of, if it could focus, this Febreze sanitizing fabric refresher. I have been absolutely loving my meal cordless vacuum. It is so good. It's just life-changing honestly to have this i haven't had a cordless vacuum in a while and just not having to pull out my big bulky one and plug it in and have one that works just as powerfully has been amazing so very happy with that used that to vacuum the couch and then sprayed that spray we're going to clean off this cabinet that we have under our tv this is where i would put in those built-ins that i was talking about earlier and I'm just so excited about that possibility. So all of this hopefully is going to change in the coming months. We've also, since this video has been filmed, we've gotten rid of that bouncer. My mom took that to her house for other grandbabies. And then that rocking chair that we've had in the corner of our living room for a while, we gave that to my parents as well because we just don't have the space for it. It was always pushed up against a wall. It honestly it was damaging our walls because it was getting walked into and pushed around. So I'm glad to have it gone. I noticed as I was walking around just vacuuming and mopping that this vent was looking pretty dusty so I wanted to get that vacuumed off. Now I'm just going to walk around and make sure that all of the floors are cleaned and that will be the end of part one of this whole house reset. So like I said, I filmed this over an entire day, I tackled my entire house, but I had so much footage that I decided to split it up into two videos. So I'm really excited for next week's video. We tackle so much in it, and this was just such, honestly, it was such a great day for me, and it was so needed, and it was refreshing, and I'm just really, really happy that I was able to get all of this done. So stay tuned for that video for even more cleaning motivation. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and it gave you some motivation to get up and get some things done. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Also come follow me over on Instagram if you're interested in following more of our day-to-day -day lives. I share a lot more personal stuff. I know over here I keep it pretty strictly to like the cleaning and the organizing, but if you're interested in seeing more about me and about the kids and our family life and all of that, that is where you will find that over on Instagram. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll come back again next week for another one.